Hi, I'm El Gavala Virta, and this one is about Corby's Amp's Cockney Riot Marshall Jason 800 style preamp pedal. Let's listen to a song first from my forthcoming solo album, third solo album. All songs will have vocals, you're gonna hear an instrumental version of one of the tracks. I'm just gonna play it like I would play live. One guitar, no overdubs, and the signal chain is one of my ESP signature eclipses with EMG 81 85 pickups. Then into my pedal board, SD1. Into the Cockney Riot, because to me, this is a Marshall J.C. Menhardt preamp. Test tubes, everything, so I treat it like a J.C. Menhardt preamp. <laughs> or J.C. Menhardt amp. From Cockney Riot to 5150's effect return, so straight to the power amp. From 5150 to Marshall 9060 BV cabinet with Marshall Vintage speakers, the original V30s, and I'm miking that with two Sennheiser microphones, E906 and MD421. The microphones are summed with radial 2 to 1 summing box. One signal goes to my warm audio preamp, then into Logic, rock and roll.
All right, that was a rock and roll. It was the playing was a bit all all, all over the place, but it was fun. <laughs> like you know, guitar playing and music in general should be. So yeah, the Cockney Riot. Oh boy, it's it's amazing. It's an 800 preamp. So let's a little bit about the, the the mix what I did to guitars. I, I didn't do much. I cut it a little bit low, because I like to have a you know really you know bossy sound when I record. So I think the low cut was around 70, 75 hertz, a little bit highs. Then uh, just shaping a little bit. I think I added a one plug like one dB, 100 hertz. Cut it a little bit from 260 kind of a like low mid thing and a little bit around 3.54k like db or to some of the you know harshness what what you get with uh, you know real 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 speakers and and sometimes with the vintage speakers so basically any speaker with lots of gain because we humans we hear those upper mid frequencies you know the the loudest that's just how ears are so little little nuts there nothing much no compression nothing uh, then because I recorded a single guitar, so as you probably heard, it wasn't completely centered, it was a little bit like this. So the guitar went to a guitar stereo kind of bus, where I had a, or I blended in that, I sent sent the bus to a Eventide, Eventide H3000 plugin. It makes it a little bit wider, just a tiny amount, so that little spreads a little bit. And then the, on the solo, I automated, same track, I, I automated the TC Electronics D2 delay with my own preset called basic ping pong. You probably heard the delays kind of went a little bit like this in the, in the background just to create nice movement and I just you know tap tempo it. You know old school, old school way and that was the guitar. <laughs> you know you have you know if you play good you have a you know decent gear or amazing gear you know it will sound good or amazing. You know, depending on the listener, I think it sounded really good. Okay, let's go through through this pedal. Or, like I said in the intro, to me this is a high quality tube preamp, but just in a pedal enclosure. It's really there's two 12 AX7 preamp tubes. Then your basic master, which is just a just a volume, and then the volume is kind of like master on a real 800 so the more you crank it adds certain power tube mojo and thickness and fullness kind of works together with the preamp or gain control as labeled here there's no power amp tubes here but you get the same feel and as you can see probably i have it uh, pretty much cranked it's around three o'clock your treble middle bass like on an 800 i think this is set pretty much like Okay, actually, actually like my 800 that I'm gonna compare, 22 or 3x. And then your gain, which on the 800 is labeled preamp. There's all kind of switches, you can add more compression, uh, bright switch. I didn't use any of those. Like, I didn't find the need. But uh, let's go Let's go through them. So the, the basic controls are, if you're familiar with JZM 800, modded JZM 800, this is like that, because this one has Legendary Tones Lynch Mod, which nowadays it's called Mr. Scary Mod. So I'm, it adds a little bit everything. My preamp is like seven, like on this one. So it's just a, this to me is like a JZ Mayerhound with a Legendary Tones Mr. Scary or Lynch Mod. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, basic controls. Mode switch, it's, it's a bright switch. <laughs> It adds, it adds, uh, there's three ways. I don't remember where I had it, I just... I probably had it on in the center. At least it sounds really good to me now. Then there's... Uh, It adds kind of more gain, which I think I had. And this adds uh, compression and more gain. You know, adding compression, it's quasi the signal, so it's a lot quieter. And uh, then uh, there's a couple of other switches. I don't remember what they do, but let's listen. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a uh, kind of like a low cut. Yeah, I had that off center position. So two different uh, low cuts, kind of like what SD one does. But I just I'm so used to playing with SD in front of Marshall. To me, this is a Marshall DZ nine hundred. And then this one. Okay, this adds more gain. You can hear it when you dial back the gate. So I, I, that was off too. Then there's a power switch and ground loop switch. If you can get a hum, so you can switch the, you know. And if I bypass this. So now it goes straight to the 5150 power amp. And the way I said the 5150 because the preamp controls don't work, so the only controls that work are the post gain, master volume, resonance and presence. Post gain, aka master volume is 5, resonance is 7, presence is 8. So let me go through the controls so you hear. Like you, you hear, it doesn't change the volume that much, just the character. Gonna get the v and this one is kind of the the volume treble. Middle. A real scoop. That's where it opens. Cool. And the low end. There, and again, when it's off, it's like preamp gain, so how much signal is feed into the preamp tubes. If it's zero, there's no signal feed into the preamp tubes, no volume. And someone's gonna ask, yeah, but how does it sound without an SD1? It sounds like this. Then gain max to let's add a blow cut. It's like 800, you know, this fat, boo boo, but uh. I feel I need an SD1 in front to tighten it, adding a tiny amount of drive, because the way I said it, level is, is uh, like 4 o'clock, drive is 8 o'clock, and the tone is uh, like 1 o'clock, so it just adds clipping diode signal into the amp. Well, pedal, but to me this is amp, preamp. That's this. Like, wow. Okay, so how does it compare to like 800 full tube amp? Well, first this one, then this one. Sure, which one I have? Three, it's this one, okay. Kind of a little bit more of that low bit quark, but uh, 5150 has 60, uh, six or sixes. Sorry, 
this is EL34, so I think most of the character difference is uh, because of the different power amp and, and tubes and different power amp, 5150's power amp is different than 800's power amp but uh, if you would put this into the 22 or 3x effect loop and well, what would be the point because obviously then you would have an 800 and then but if you don't have JJM and and I guess these are nowadays quite hard to even buy because I guess the demand is so so high and the original ones like I have here from 84 and 85 the, the prices are like so uh there's a solution you know you can turn well I don't know any amp but at least I can turn 5150 into a JZM 800 with this pebble that's pretty damn amazing real tubes man yeah and there's all kind of knobs you can you know dial more to your liking whatever guitar you're using i just had everything figured out everything off just like your basic jzm 800 or cool kurbis cockney riot but uh i you know because the the forefather i think is it's this or if it not if it isn't well i'm pretty sure it is because this is to me it's 800 it works just like real jzm 800 works just like real jzm 800 with the sd1 with my cabinets with my settings i was actually pretty blown away when i put this on like okay i'm a 5150 is an 800 with this one how cool is that <laughs> silver the, uh, everything that you could ask for a, from an 800 conclusion fantastic preamp it's preamp i think the price is for 24 50 euros something you might think that oh that's a uh, quite a hefty price for a pedal but uh to me it's not a pedal it's a really high quality tube Preamplifier, 450 of a high quality tube preamplifier, nothing. Put this to an uh, effect loop of an amp, you have your JZM 800 there. You can carry this with you and, and whatnot. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot, which is not a surprise because I like 800s a lot. Hey! Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description below to Corby's site. There are more info on his site, you know, about the pedal and other pedals he makes. They're all handmade in Greece. High quality stuff, strong recommendation. Hey, hopefully you found this interesting and informative. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.